Alright then gang, so that is the application pretty much complete. So the only thing left to do really now is to deploy it to Firebase. So if we go over to Firebase and then go to hosting, then you're going to see some kind of get started button, click that, and it's going to show you what we need to do. Now we should have already installed Firebase tools. We've already logged in and initialized a Firebase project. And finally, what we need to do is just Firebase deploy. Remember, we did this step when we were creating Firebase functions. So this is the only thing left to do. So let's click finish and go over to our application. And if we open up a terminal, we'll clear this out. Before we say Firebase deploy, we actually have to build our React app and put it into this dist folder. Now we have a command that does that for us. We say npm run build. And this is going to run a script which is going to build our application for us and it's going to put it inside the dist folder. All right then, so just a quick correction. I said that it puts it into a dist folder completely wrong. Don't know where we got that from. It puts it into a build folder. So it's created this folder for us right here with all of our images, our static files and our different files that we need to deploy right here. So all of that has gone inside the build folder. So what I'll do because we're deploying the dist folder is highlight all of this stuff right here and I'm going to move it into the dist folder instead. I'm going to replace the current index file and now it's inside the dist folder. So this is what we want to deploy with Firebase. So all we need to do is say Firebase deploy. And because we specified before that we want to deploy the dist folder, that's what it's going to deploy automatically. So if we press enter now, it's going to take care of that for us. All right, so we should now see deploy complete right there, which means this has been successful. So now if we go over to our Firebase project, we can see if we refresh over here, we should see another deployment. We can see this right here was the deployment. These are the number of files we deployed inside that folder. So now if we go to the URL, which is displayed here, we should see this project. So I'm going to try this out. And voila, my friends, there we go. We can see it in full swing. Now, obviously, because we're not logged in at the minute, we can't see the home page. So it's redirected us to sign in. But if we log in, I'm just going to say Mario at the net ninja.co.uk. It's using all the same user accounts because we're still hooking up to the same Firebase backend. Test one, two, three, four, press enter. We should log into the application, save that password. And now we can see it. all the same data all the same notifications and all the same functionality. So there we go, my friends. That is our React and Redux app using Firebase Authentication, Firestore and Cloud Functions and finally deploying that to the web. So I hope this journey has been an enjoyable one and you've learned at least a little bit along the way. Don't forget, my friends, if you do enjoy these videos, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like and I'm going to see you in the very next series.